in my mountain storage room. Bugs blew up the turrets. Everything caught fire. GG. Okay, so we want these kill boxes um, and these these ways in on the sides of the bases here. So we have we've already invested in that. We have to invest a bit more into it. It looks like, and then we're probably also going to want to have some turrets dotted around within the base as well for these drop pod raids that are going to uh, inevitably happen as well. We also need better gear, and uh, we also need um, better weapons as well, don't we? So we got some marine armor that we're working on, a charged rifle that we're working on, and an advanced component that's been worked on as well. This is all by Gendermancer. And uh, Bob still has some tattered apparel. Bob's is apparel. Okay, another question for you then. This marine armor that's at 31%, there's no way for me to fix this, right? It's just going to deteriorate into nothing, and that's it. I have to build another marine armor. What do you guys do to avoid this, um, that, that your, your really good armor and stuff going bad? You, do you just, like, not use it when, what, in peacetime sort of thing? You just have, like, you put it on a shelf somewhere and keep it safe? And then, what, as soon as you get raided, you just get everybody to put on their soldier outfits? You press Alt F4, all right, okay. I mean, that's crazy, though, because, like, I guess... Some raids, they give you enough time to prepare and stuff, but other raids don't really. So, like, man, so we're going to have to have, like, another big armory with a place to store all of this gear. Like, if we want to get everyone more or less geared up, it's going to be tough, right? Jeez. When does TTS return? Um, I don't know. Soon, maybe? Maybe extend the defenses to give myself some time. You can sell it and use the wealth to buy materials for a new product. Okay, that's nice. It's easier to just let them have it 24-7. Yeah, and what, and just build uh, build new ones sort of thing, I guess. All right. Sure. Okay. Mubinski is doing some uh, some repair work out here, and that's, that's fine. Okay, so we're going to have these turrets here lead into... All right, Mr. Ideas has got an idea in that case, then. We are going to deconstruct all these steel traps. Um, let's also... Um, do we want to remove this grow zone? Yeah, you know what? Let's remove this grow zone as well. I've got an idea for this. We want to, like, we want to gum them up in, like, tunnels, I guess, right? That's the best way to do it. Lots of traps. And then, um, and then I guess lots of like these boulders, chunks. We can like make a storage area with chunks because it's hard for them to walk over the chunks, right? They'll get stuck and angry, and they'll they'll all be dead by the time they get in here. Yeah. Mr. Ideas, just plug up the holes and turtle. Just give him a flak jacket and vest. He's already a monster. I know, but we want him to be the ultimate monster. You know what I mean? We want him to be a, like a super monster. We want this. We want him to be the the super monster of of all time, the greatest monster that he can be, the best version of himself. Granite chunks. So what builds are we working on right now? Okay, we're making granite blocks, and we're actually full up on granite blocks. So that's pretty good. Okay, nice. We still have a lot of trading and stuff that we need to do as well, but that's okay. We can figure that out. Um, and it looks like these chocolate trees are almost done too. How are we doing for power? We've got a bit of excess, but we could always do with more. More power for the uh, for the for the power lord. That's me, the lord of power. I need all the, all the power I can get. Well, when you gotta get let Adam Jensen have his marine armor. I guess another thing we want is. Uh, uh, I've been reading that bionic eyes are apparently pretty good. You get some bionic eyes for people, uh, especially like your snipers, and they'll shoot better. So maybe we can get like uh, Cheesy Weezer, since he's got a sniper rifle, we can get him two bionic eyes and he'll be even better at shooting stuff. It'd be nice, right? Bionic ice. Unrelated, I know, but reckon at some point in Planet Coaster that Penny, P Penny Whacker can meet Bodega. Maybe, we'll see, I don't know. You can't. Cr you can craft bionic eyes. I'm pretty sure that you can. Yeah. Add a build to craft a bionic eye. What's required for a, this bionic eye? Let's make this happen. Four advanced components and ten plasteel. Okay. And Sir Fabulan is extracting plasteel now as well from the ground. So that's pretty good. All right. Good job, Bob's. Way to get involved. Or is he even involved? What's he actually doing? Oh yeah, he's deconstructing traps as well. Bob's is like, oh, I watched the new Game of Thrones last night. 
I won't spoil it or anything, but man, people are crazy if they didn't like that. I thought it was awesome. It, I, like, I know it's rushed. I know that it's. I know that they're blasting through a lot of potential storyline and stuff like that, but I think I I think the last episode was great. So fucking satisfying. Holy shit. Synthesize wake up. A work performance enhancing drug which replaces the need for sleep. Okay, we might need that actually. We're almost completely uh, researched. Go juice. We'll research as well. Does Sean Bean die? Yeah, he does unfortunately, yeah. I'll give you two bits if I spoil it. A lot of this season feels both rushed and slow at the same time. Um, it made no sense. How can you say that? Man, uh, well, again, without spoiling it. Listen, if you don't want Game of Thrones spoilers, just close your ears, okay? We'll talk about it for a brief second. Honestly, I'm at the point where I, I, I'm done. I'm really done with Game of Thrones. I've grown to basically hate all the characters, and, uh, and, and I have no sympathy for the people in that show either. Like, King's Landing? King's Landing is a fucking total shithole, man. Like, the people are all assholes. Like that, you know, like they, it, there's such a such a stupid like mob mentality in that city, and just the way that people have been treated, like every time they've gone there in the past and stuff. Fuck it, burn it down. Who cares? It's a piece of shit anyway. <laughs> I like that that uh, Daenerys is just going nuts as well. I think that's great. I think it's really good. It makes the next episode like at least somewhat interesting, and not just like after all that, it's just like this stupid circular circle of life story sort of thing at least maybe there'll be like some drama maybe she'll die as well who knows so yeah i think it's fine burn it down yeah yeah i was done with game of thrones after the first episode uh well fair enough so much spoilers i i did give a warning i said to block your ears like uh i mean it's it's been out for a couple of days now right it's fine no circle of life yeah team aria i well, whatever. You watch it and stuff, and it's fine. It's almost done. There's one more episode, and it's done. So who cares? It'll be it'll be great. It'll be nice to uh, it'll be nice to to for it to be done, and then uh, we can all move on, and uh, and get annoyed with some other show, right? No. God, the death was disappointing. Which one? You stopped watching the middle of season six. Yeah, I guess so. I hope the books are different. Are the so has he is he doing the books or is that it? I thought that the show was. Basically him saying I'm never gonna do the books. So here have this show instead. I thought that was the uh, I thought that was the idea Okay, so they come in here, right? And then look at this check this out We're gonna have it so that they have to go through here like this and then oh man Okay, this is gonna be maximum Trappage in here, right? It's gonna be like trap hell in here Can these things? Okay these things can probably shoot to about here, so we want some more stuff in. Okay, this is Mr. Ideas cooking up just, just a real humdinger of an idea here. Okay, check, check these out. Okay, and then they get into the middle here, and then these turrets unload on them as well, right? So we're gonna have traps like all in here, and then we'll have a bunch of rocks and stuff, so it'll be hard for them to get over, and then the turrets will finish them off if they made it through, right? It'll take your dudes half an hour to go outside. No, no, it won't because look, we're gonna make it so that they don't go out that way. We're gonna have like some little doors on the side here. They, it, it'll be like too thick, right? So they won't go for the doors. It'll take them too long to bust down two doors when they have a, a, a straight path through. So they'll go through here, hopefully. And we'll see how it goes. Um, okay, so security, uh, spike traps. We want these made out of steel, I guess. And then we wanna have them like Oh, yeah, that's right. We have to, like, dot them around a bit like this, right? So we can slow them down as they come through here, too, right? Okay. Oh, I like that. It's. I mean, it's expensive. It's expensive, but goddamn. That's gonna be great, no? That's just going to be fantastic. I think that's going to be awesome. Well, we're out of advanced components. What's being worked on here right now? The bionic eye is being worked on. Okay, nice. We are actually making a bionic eye. Did dicks get reset? Yeah, they should do. Yeah, you could put doors down in the middle of the maze as well. Oh, yeah, and they'll use the doors to uh, to go out. That's fine. That's good. We're going to put some doors in here, and uh, they can go out. Can we just make this like a no-go zone? For call for our colonists, we can make it so that they never go in here, 
Um, and then we can just have one person like on cleanup duty or something. We can just swap them over after like the raid is complete. Limestone tile. Don't put traps in the middle and then put doors down through the middle. Now oh, this is fine, honestly. I think that this will be all right. It's gonna cost us a lot of steel to get this set up, but our western our western hole here is gonna be real good. It's gonna be a real nice one. I'm hoping anyway. Be nice. All right, we have a ton of food. Um, we have a ton of smoke leaf, and we are uh, growing other stuff as well. So. Let's start, um, let's start making what next? Beer sells quite well. Maybe we want some hops. So maybe like in these ones here. I didn't want it on all of them. I just want to like select. God damn. Oh, fuck. There's got to be an easier way to select the one, just the ones that I want, right? Oh, I can deselect them now. Okay, so I'm gonna say on this side, let's grow cotton hops. Okay, we're gonna grow hops in there since we're we we're we're doing real good for food now. It's not bad, right? And then um, we've got a ton of medicine as well. So in in here. We want to keep getting medicine too, right? So in here we're going to have heal root. And then we got a bit of psychoid as well. Okay, good. Let's get that all planted up. Okay, in the meantime here, so now we're going to go zone and we're going to do a stockpile zone, right? And what we're going to do is we're going to make this, you know, we're going to make this come down to like here like this, right? And then inside here we're going to say clear all. And all we want to store in here are stone chunks. Any stone chunk will do, okay? And we're going to say that this is an imp a, an important place to store stone chunks. Perfect. So we can start hauling some stone chunks in here. Um, and then if anybody's not busy, we'll just haul like as many stone chunks in as we can. And just fill it up. I mean, we'll still be making blocks and stuff, but we'll just constantly fill it back up with chunks, right? I have any chunks that are here don't need to be here as well. Wow. Okay, this is going to be quite the murder hole. It's going to take them a long time to get through. They're going to get all gummed up in the traps and stuff. And then we're going to shoot them with the turrets stuff as well. They're not going to have the line of sight. So they're going to get out here. They're going to be all wounded and ready to die. And then, bam, they're going to die. It's going to be great. All right, Cheesy Weezers, you are up. We are going to give you an operation so that you can have a bionic left eye. So that you're better at shooting. So Cheesy Weezers with a sniper rifle here. We're going to rest until healed. Um, and then we're going to get Liz to come and perform the surgery on you. Because she's a really good surgeon. One of the best. Okay, good. Let's prioritize operating on him. It's currently 33 degrees outside. Which is quite hot. And it looks like these are all switched on. Okay, so it's nice and cool indoors. What's it like in the hospital? It's 19 degrees indoors. Wonderful. Okay, good. Cheesy Weezers is now going to have a bionic eye if uh, if Liz doesn't screw it up, hopefully. Don't screw it up, Liz. Let's get this eye in, and then we'll get him better at shooting. We've made one times bionic eye. Am I going to upgrade all of my murder holes? Yes. Okay, so now he's got 125% efficiency in his left eye, in his left bionic eye. So he should actually be better at shooting now. He'll be, look, he doesn't have, he's not better at shooting. Okay, maybe just, maybe he's just going to be better at shooting because he's got the eye. I don't know how it works. I'm not sure how it applies, like, the, uh, the thing. You needed it, you're blind in one eye. we got to upgrade our wall thickness. You think so? What, our wall thickness isn't enough? Man, I am really liking that this, this fucking murder hole on the side here with the traps and stuff. I think that's great. Okay, so we're going to have to get some uh, doors in here. So we want uh, not auto doors. We just want normal granite doors, right? So they come out here. Dad. See, they're already preferring to go out that way. See, because of all these rocks and stuff. 
Okay, go juice is done. Um, so the last stuff that we no want now are just like recurve bows and these last two medieval things and we're all done. I understand I'm addicted to hallucinogenic tea and I'm wearing a shaman mask. Can I be the colony witch doctor now? Yeah, sure, Tappy, if that's, um, if that's how you want to go. If that's how you want it to go down, that's fine. We can do that. We can make you the, uh, the official witch doctor of the whole, the whole camp. I'm sure people would really appreciate that as well. Oh, nice job, Mubinski. That's good. I like the old double door. The, the way out is real nice. Raiders can use the chunks as cover from your shots. Um, I don't know if they can uh, stand on a chunk behind another chunk and use it as cover. I don't think that they can. So it should be okay. All right. And then we want um, security here. We want to have some sandbags set up, like, uh, out here. Right? And then I think we're going to have a uranium slug turret. Like back here that's just going to shoot down the way, right? So that they can't uh, outrange it. So we're going to have it like here and it's going to shoot just down the, the path when they come out and help out there. That should be fine, right? So we'll have this here and then let's get some sandbags around it too. Like so. Perfect. That's going to be great. Keep the turret really far back. You should put IED traps in those kill holes. I don't know if I have any IED traps. Let's see. Security. I could put IED. I could put a high explosive IED trap. I guess some EMP ones would be pretty good, right? A pair of fire foam shells connected to a touch activated trigger. Since it's hidden in the surrounding terrain, it cannot be placed adjacent to other traps. Animals can sense these when calm. Nice. What's anti grain? Antimatter powered anti grain warhead connected. What does this, what does this one do? 100% flammable. I don't even know what that one does. Anti grain. It's like a like a, is it like a biological thing or something? If the kill holes are too hard, they'll go through the walls, which is why you need thicker walls. All right. They can they can detect that. Whoa! Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Christina M is dead! She thought she, she died in a trap! Oh no! Oh no! Unrestricted. Okay. We have to make it so that... Oh crap. I have the thing. I can res her. It's fine. She might be brain dead though. Okay, yeah. The traps, the traps definitely do work. So we want, so I see what you guys mean about the doors straight through. We want to have doors straight through so that they're not walking in through the... Okay, let's, um, let's, let's uninstall this spike trap then. Uninstall this one and this one. And then let's get some doors in the middle here. Okay, guys, I see exactly what you mean now. We need to have a, a safe path through so that they're not like walking around, right? Uninstall the game. Okay, hang on a second. We have to, uh, we have to, we have to get this work done. We have to somehow go in and get Christina M as well before it's too late. Okay, look it. Let's put her into. <coughs> cannot hold to. Can we not put her in into this into the uh, into the crypto sleep thing? We can consume her, and we can strip her. Can I not pick her up and put her in there? Allow my freezer. I'm about to lose somebody else. Fuck, I hope not. We're gonna have to put these people on ice. We're gonna have to freeze them up good. Okay, so in here we wanna store human corpses. Colonist corpses. Okay, we're gonna put her on ice and then revive her, okay? We have to sort out these... Don't die in these traps, everybody. Holy crap, the worst. Let's get these traps out of here and let's get these doors done, Mubinski. I'm gonna block this off. Let's get these doors made so that you're not walking through the traps. Poor Bob. No, no, don't do this. 
Don't do this. Don't go through here, Penny Peterwack. No, no, don't go through there. We have to restrict it, I think. For, uh, no, we can't restrict it because they have to do that. Penny. I hope Penny's got really good trap awareness. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, Mr. Ideas has really fucking made a big boob this time. Pindo Cutie's down for the count now as well. Not you too, Bob. Okay. Bob's left ear has been destroyed as well. We're gonna have to replace... We're gonna have to replace his left ear. Okay, marine armor is being worked on. So Christina M is, uh, is frozen. She won't spoil. She's, uh, she's dead in the freezer. We'll revive her in a minute. We have to get these, um... We have to get these things done. Joey Quest, don't even do it. He's going to get the meal. Oh, fuck. These traps are brutal, eh? Holy shit. The trap passed the test. Well, at least we know that the traps work now. Okay, we're losing some berries and stuff, and that's okay. Okay, Liz, don't you die now. Holy crap. We don't want to be in a situation where we have to choose who's going to get that uh, that mech serum. Oh, Liz. No. No, don't do it. They're going to come in and try to... They're going to come in and try to clean up and stuff, too. The worst. Oh, look at Solerio's coming here to grab uh, blocks as well. Okay, we finished recurve, though. So we'll do plate armor and then great bow, and then we're all done researching. Which is pretty nice, actually. It's good. Okay, so they'll, they'll skip the traps by going directly through the doors once the doors are up, right? They'll never need to go over those traps again. So we're going to have to do something similar else. Oh, shit. They wanted to uninstall that one. Okay, there's a solar flare as well. Not good. Christina M might might spoil now. Pinno Cutie, what are you doing? Get in there. Did you lose anything? She's been cracked and stabbed by the traps, but she hasn't lost any limbs or anything, at least. That's good. Okay, good job, Bob. Bob is making this whole place a little bit safer for everybody. We have a bit of unhappy nudity that we can address fairly soon. Who's unhappily nude right now? Oh, Pindo Cutie. What did you lose? Uh, flak vest, a lizard skin jacket. So you need pants and a t-shirt. Unbelievable. There's a mod called Path Avoid that can make your pawns avoid the traps. Ah, it's a bit cheaty though, isn't it? It's a little bit cheaty. You don't want to cheat that much. Let's just make it so they go through these doors instead. And we can have the traps here. Because the um, the guys aren't gonna sh aren't gonna attack the doors. The raiders won't attack the doors when they have a path around, right? They'll just take the path around. Should be fine. I'm gonna spoil in 2.3 days. Okay, we gotta get this solar flare off of here. I think we're safe to use this thing now, actually. Uh, so Liz, let's get let's use this on Christina M. Let's get her revived and see what the damage is. She's pretty fresh. Okay, she's back. She needs a rescue, though. At least that's me has rescued her straight away. Nice. Okay, how are you doing? She's got resurrection sickness, but she hasn't. she's not brain dead or anything. Fantastic. Okay, good job, Bob. Bob has finished off... Making the uh, the the kill zone safe. Yeah, fucking. Thank God we had that resurrector thing. Eh? It's crazy. So she's got a little bit of resurrection sickness, but she's back in the game. Everybody, she's back in the game and she's feeling good. She's feeling she's feeling cool. She's feeling feisty. She's feeling on top of the world. Nice. Okay, and that's that all done. Perfect. So we're gonna do the same thing down here now too. So let's get rid of this. Um, zone and this zone and let's start um, uninstalling all these traps as well then we can just replace them after okay good the solar flare is done now too perfect holy crap that was unbelievable <laughs> part of me shark in a chair thanks so much for the bits man I appreciate it um, you are a poo poo huh get it poo poo yeah. okay yeah thanks 
It's like that scene in Indiana Jones where Harrison Ford pours peroxide on Sean Connery's chest. He does that? I don't remember that part. I really do not remember that part. Okay, so so this is so this is the new kill hole. I, maybe we need some more guns in here or something. I don't know. Do we need like more guns in here? And we need thicker walls apparently too. Let's thicken up the. We're losing all our berries. Let's thicken up these walls a little bit. Make them three deep. Maybe that'll be enough. I don't know. God, we have so much food. Holy crap. Too much food, I would say. We're, we've got too much food now. All right, so this grow zone can go. We no longer need this one. Smoke leaf and cloth we do need, but we might move somewhere else. We'll have to see. Can you remove the service door now also? Um, yeah, I suppose we can actually. It's not, it's no longer needed. So let's get walls in here and actually let's... We'll do up these walls a little bit. I kind of want to get raided by the, from the left now. I want to see how this, how this goes. I want to see if it, if it works. I want to see if it works a treat like I think it's going to. Okay, so let's get rid of these sandbags. Um, and then let's uninstall these turrets as well. Get the same sort of thing set up in here. So Fabulan is still getting us some class deals. Will I play a Plague Tale Innocence? That game looks pretty cool, actually. I'm tempted. I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll see. Is so we're slowing them down with these chunks. Or we're going to attempt to slow them down with these chunks. But do we... Um, do we need to? I suppose it's good to slow them down, right? The slower the better. Get them all gummed up in there and then we can kill them. Easier. Can get some people like on the sides here and stuff. We want more Dankus Dungeon. Oh, okay. Dankus Dungeon. So I'm thinking like we get some snipers like positioned back here by the gun and they can just shoot into here too, right? Or people charge rifles. I think we have another charge rifle available now, don't we? Somebody just used it straight away or is it being worked on still? Gendermans are still working on it. Um, so who's picked up the new... Tappy has picked up the, the new marine armor. Okay, Tappy, I'm not too sure about this actually. We're going to make you drop this. It was a nice try, but I think we're going to give it to somebody um, who is, uh, who's got like a better gun. Like maybe Mubinski or something. Where were you, Tappy? Okay, Mubinski, come and put this on. Mubinski's got like a submachine gun, right? We can give him a charge rifle as well. Smith's okay, so that's that done. So it's just great bow left and then we're done. We're completely done researching So that means that we can cancel this Will we need to research anything else or can I just deconstruct the uh, research bench after this is done? Hey, look at Mubinski now. Mubinski is a fucking beast The cooker is busted. Oh, it's okay. They can fix it Hopefully. Do we have any components? No, we don't actually. So after this rifle is done, we have to make some components. Oh, we have so many spike traps. So do we think that this is okay like this? Or do you think we could do it like a bit better? It's probably all right. I, I think let's try it anyway and see how it goes. So granite wall. So that's gonna come to here at like this. And then we're gonna have to put doorways in, right? That's probably fine like that. Okay, charge my co Oh my, my god, she made a masterwork charge rifle. That's crazy. Okay, come and get it, Mubinski. Mubinski's our other 
our other uh, big soldier, right? Okay, so now we're making components so that we can fix the cooker. That's some good pew pew. Move the chunks from the doors. Oh, I see what you mean, yeah. So actually we want to shrink the zone. Like that. Oh, it's shrunk the, the whole zone though. Expand the zone. Oh god, that's no good. Do we need the rocks in here? What if we grow like just grass in here or something? Will that slow them down too? What what are some things that we can slow them down with? We've got a pirate merchant from Titty His Bum visiting us in a sec too. Gravel. Sandbags. So we can check the charge rifle. Apparently the charge rifle has art on the on it. A masterwork. This weapon is engraved with a representation of Kimiko, Liz, that's me, Asano, searching for jade with red dry skin. Thousands of unmoving mega scarabs surround the scene. There is an expanse in the upper part of the image. The portrayal refers to Liz, that's me, overheating on the 12th of April, May, 5504. <laughs> okay, sure. Mubinski has an image of uh, Liz, that's me, getting too hot. Uh, on, on his gun, which he's going to call Charlene, I think. That's nice. All right, so we want granite doors in here, too, like we did last time. What's this? Okay, well, we'll see what's going on here. Plastile. Plastile. This is my heat stroke. There are many like it, but this one is mine. Yeah, that's exactly it. Granite doors are super slow. That's okay. They don't need to be fast. We don't really need to go out that way that often, so it's fine, right? Um, okay, let's trade with Vikinger. Penny, let's see what they got. Let's see what they're willing to buy here. They've got some Luciferium. Um, would they like to buy some smoke leaf joints from us? Probably. Sell 20. Oh, no. We want to do uh, minus 20, right? We want to sell 20 joints. Um, and then let's sell like a bunch of our beer as well. 922 bucks. Do we want to sell Terry? Hell no. Mailbaum and Erica? Probably not. We have... Um, we're low on medicine, actually. We're really low on medicine. Okay, let's get some more medicine in then. Psychite tea, we're good. Smoke leaf joint. Pinoxicillin, we got some... High explosive shells we could sell. We should probably make some more. Okay, let's do that. How come we're so low on medicine? We have to we we have the um neutramine, but I don't think we have the cloth. Oh no, we do have the cloth. So what's what the hell's going on here? Need to be making some medicine here, boys. We also need to fix the goddamn kitchen. I think we need a component for that. We need to fix the... We need to fix the kitchen. We need a spare component. Alright, and in the meantime we can set up the southern... The southern kill box as well. Make it... Make it better. Right? So we want to go like... So we're going to have to make some changes to this wall, too. How are you doing, Pindo Cutie? Um, you're doing okay. You got stuck in a trap, and you almost died. And Christine Ann did die, but we brought her back online with the, uh, with the thing. She's uh, got resurrection sickness, but otherwise, she seems to be doing well. She seems to be doing okay. So that's nice. She's recovering. She's recovering in the hospital right now. 
Buy the male Mega Sloth and call it Medogum. Oh my god. I can't support another Mega Sloth. No need to slow down the enemies in the kill boxes where you can't shoot them. Uh, it'll buy us time. It'll give us more time to get ready and stuff, though. Right? Or does that not really matter? Do it for the lore. So, could I, um... Actually, hang on a second. What I would like to do is I would like to uninstall... I want to do a test. Okay, let's uninstall these two. I want to do a little test here and see. Let's see what, what we can get away with here. Okay, Bob. Good job. So, let's install it. Uh, so, if I install this here, and then I say, let's install this one... Oh, you can't. Okay, never mind. That's fine. So let's install this one here. And then we're going to need to install another one back here. So it's fine the way it was. I was thinking that maybe we'd get like one, two, three. But I, get, I don't think they can be that close together. There's got to be like a full space in between them, right? Don't mention the lore. We might be able to get away with more down here though. Two, like three, like that, right? Okay, let's build the walls first and then we'll put the stuff in. So we need granite walls back here. Like so. And then we probably want the same like here too, right? This will be our southern defense. How are we doing for granite um, stuff? We're going to need lots of granite. So in here, let's say... Um, stone chunks, we'd only want to store in here right now granite. Okay, that is research done. So what's the deal then, guys? Can I get rid of, um, can I get rid of all this stuff? Claim back some of this, can I get rid of the, the lab? Can I get rid of the research bench and the uh, multi-analyzer? Deconstruct the bench. Gotcha. Okay, we're gonna claim back this stuff. We're all researched up. Alright, the cooking machine is fixed. The cooking machine is back on track. There's some plasteel outside of the base needs to be got that we need to bring that in we don't want to leave plasteel out right bobs is about to have a break christina m is wearing tattered apparel she's got a pigskin t-shirt and some bad light leather pants we're working on a new t-shirt right here now that'll be a gender answer special right So all this stuff is deteriorating still because it's outdoors. That's a big, a big my bad on on my part. I'm gonna have to make like a new storage area, I think. So we want to store blocks and wood potentially in here. We can't get rid of this though. Oh, a meteorite. What could it be? Limestone. Okay. We don't need limestone right now, so we'll just leave it. Yes? No? Possibly? What are your duties now out at Keck? Uh, now that we don't need uh, anybody on researching uh, whatsoever, we are going to get you on... What are you good at? You're pretty good at hunting. Let's get you on hunting. You're pretty good at handling as well, actually, out of Keck. So we'll get you on hunting and handling. And then all the usual stuff. Where's that a keck? He's on hunting, handling, hauling, and cleaning. Okay, perfect. That's good. Out of keck, you can do it. Uh, we need some meat as well, actually. So let's go out and kill a bunch of crap. We'll make sure that out of keck has like a bunch of turkeys here that we can kill. Make sure that out of keck has a decent gun. Maybe get him a charge rifle soon as well. We're ran we ran out of advanced components, so we're going to need to make a whole bunch more. Uh, 
And we need to catch up with these components as well. We need to get a stockpile of normal components done as well. Okay, so... Is that out of keck? Oh, it's Christina M. So Christina M lost her right or her pump shotgun. She had a pump shotgun, did she not? Okay, you can have the heavy SMG now. Now that Mubinski's got a charge rifle. So Mubinski, Solario, Cheesy Weezers has the bionic eye and a sniper rifle. So we could do with giving Cheesy Weezers maybe another bionic eye. I think two bionic eyes are better than one, maybe. You can't say that five times fast. Hunting, handling, hauling, and cleaning. No, I wouldn't be able to say that five times fast. It would be impossible. Oh. There's a huge fire. We had a short. Okay, Arakek has been inspired to trade better as well. This could be nice. This, this could be just what we need. An, an inspirational trade. All right, so it is currently summer. It's 35 degrees outside. We've got the air conditioning on indoors, so people are probably a little bit uncomfortable, but that's okay for now. We'll figure it out. Where do we want to start storing up um, some of this wood and stuff? We need to find like a decent spot. Maybe we just start accepting raw resources. Maybe we just start accepting it here, and then we also get our, is it manufactured? Advanced components, chunks, stone chunks, corpses, buildings, is it items? Unfinished items? Where do the, where do the stone blocks come in? Stone blocks. And then we're gonna delete this zone here. There's a wild boar revenge. Oh. Oh, it's because Christine M was uh, shooting it, I think. Oh, Christine M is back. She's just got a stab scar on her right arm and that's it. What's she doing now? Cowering, apparently. Christine M, what are you doing? She's on hunting duty. Why is she on hunting duty? She should be doing growing and plant cutting. She's got 17 skills in, bo in both of those now, which she's built up over time. That's crazy. She used to be really bad at this stuff. Now look at her go. She's like a fucking possessed demon. That's crazy. Oh, this is great. These, these hunting boys are doing a great job. Look at all these car carcasses. Her priorities got all messed up. Yeah, I know. Uh, that reminds me, actually. We need to put her back on all this stuff, too, right? She's not a doctor. Bed rest, basic. And she could do some wardening. That's fine. Penny is like our uh, is like our priority warden, but that's fine. And then we could say... We can do some hauling and cleaning when there's nothing else to do. Okay, good. So she went out there and started hunting. We have some unhappy nudity as well. So we're going to need to have a couple of shirts and stuff made. Pants and shirts. Barely anybody is wearing their um, cowboy hats as well. Did I accidentally sell all the cowboy hats or what's going on? What's this? Christine M's about to have a breakdown as well. What's now? What now? Depressive night owl in the daytime. Oh, her so her whole schedule is fucked up. Oh no, it's not. She's on the right thing. She's just up, I guess, because she was um, because she was res res sick. She needs to go to sleep. Same with Mubinski. Oh yeah, her and Mubinski are lovers, aren't they? Hunting should be banned. You don't need meat. Yeah, but the leathers are worth money, right? And we need the money for Plasteel. That meat's pretty good, though. We need it for kibble and stuff. It's fine. We can make some fine meals and package meals with it and stuff, too. It's good. I think it's fine. Okay. High explosive shells. Look at this. Utility bots mired with, like, 57 high explosive shells. 
Um, in exchange, they're going to give us Uranium Plate Armor Excellent, a Slate Grand Sculpture Masterwork, and a Bionic Spine. 13 days. So we need, what, 57 of these shells. Where do we make these? Is it here? Okay, let's get on it. We've got to do this in 13 days. Gendermancer is probably just going to be making components instead, but we should have other people that can do it, right? Expensive. You need the shells more, don't give it to them. Yeah, but that uranium armor and that masterwork sculpture, pretty good though, right? Christina M's on a food bitch because she's depressed. Is there any way to get rid of the uh, depressed trait? Like, is there anything that we can do to help her out? Being depressed. Oh, shit. That's a weird one, isn't it? It's kind of weird that he didn't prioritize like the the in stuff. Maybe we just do them one line at a time next time. She's having a flashback to the afterlife. Yeah, she was dead for a, a fair amount of time, wasn't she? She was she was properly dead. She was properly D E D. Okay. Just do one one murder hole at a time here. We need a raid to like test it out too. We need a raid that's not a drop pod raid. Like a tribal raid would be fine. Okay, and there's the uranium turd as well. Pew! Pew! Fingers crossed she doesn't go insane. Is this too close range or is that still long enough range for this thing? How far back does it need to be? The tribals are dead. No, they're still they're still there. They're just the just the um, their base that was close to us is gone. But they their their faction still exists. They have other bases. It's a bit close. Yeah, no, this is perfect actually. We're gonna we want to shoot them at around this point, right? It's just when they get in here that we can't. We're gonna have people here as well, right? Who told me about this defensive strat? Nobody. I just wanted to make like a... I just wanted to, to see if it would work. It came to me in a dream. Yeah? It'll only get one shot off. I think you're probably right, actually. Okay, let's deconstruct this then. And we'll just have snipers there instead. We can maybe set one of these up like back here to deal with like up here and then we can maybe set one up back here as well to deal with like down here and then we could set one up back here so this one is just going to be too close to have one of these things set up i think we'll figure it out one shot is better than none i guess so you could do auto cannons instead they're pretty good okay well we'll see how we go Gendermancer is working on these high explosive shells now, I think. She's got the chem fuel and Oh no, what's she making? Oh yeah, no, she is making the shells. One at a time. Okay. So, with these shells, let's drop it on the floor. We don't need her hauling all the way every time, right? So in this storage, we just want manufactured chem fuel, and this is going to be important. So then she, all she has to do is go get steel, right? We need more people, I think. Everybody's priorities seem okay for now. Stuff is getting done. But we just need more people to get even more stuff done, right? I think. Can you crucify people in this game? No, I don't think you can. 
played this game for hundreds of hours and seeing that you can tell them to drop things on the ground after making them has just blown my mind. What, you didn't know that? Oh wow, okay, we actually got hops now. So we can make, is it warts? How do we make ward again? Oh, here, right? Make some ward. Okay, let's make ward until we have 50 warts. So we can keep brewing up some beers. So we can sell the beers. And people can drink the beers as well. It's nice to have some suds. There aren't vanilla torture devices except weapons and the environment. Your famous orange tribe chairs. That's right, yeah. We stole them all from the uh, from that raid. They had some good quality chairs that we took. <laughs> uh, we don't need to necessarily sell them. I mean, we could just install them, I suppose. We can install some of these decent chairs. We can make like a home cinema with them. This is going to add to my, my, my base wealth. There, look, we'll set up some nice chairs for them to sit in while they watch their uh, Sleepless in Seattle and other assorted movies that we brought with us. It'd be really nice. They're going to love that. It's going to be really good. Okay, good. Everybody seems to be doing decent stuff here at least. It's nice. We could do with getting more of this stuff planted in the hydroponics though, right? We could do with butchering up some more of these animals and stuff too. Hinge is doing a great job on the cooking. It's real nice. Yeah, no, this is really good. Oh god, look at all this fucking devil strand that we've got coming out of here. So we can get back on making, um, we can make a whole bunch of parkas, sell them for big money as well, right? Because we need like, we need lots of ships to pass over so that we can get um, plasteel. Plasteel and advanced components and other crap like that, right? The stuff that take, takes a long time to make. Or the stuff that we can't make at all. Could surgically remove body parts and organs from people. That's pretty good torture. Yeah, that's true. It's starting to look like I'm playing Prison Architect. I know it's making me want to play Prison Architect, actually. How hot is it in here? It's 30 degrees. That's pretty good, actually. We've got the heaters on in here full time, pretty much, right? Ideal fermenting temperature is maximum of 32 degrees so hopefully it's all right well we'll see anyway so a lot of food that's just going to spoil out there i think we should be making some more chem fuel as well we have 59 chem fuel right now the bill is so that we have 25 chem fuel maybe we need a bit more than that how much chem fuel does it take for one shell. 10 chem fuel. Okay, let's keep 50 chem fuel on hand then if we can. You know that you can anesthesia Ontario and make your colonist carry him to a spaceship casket. Yes, we're gonna take, uh, we're gonna try to take everybody up into space. We're gonna try to take every last person up into space. So we're going to make sure that we have enough enough caskets. I don't know if we're going to take all of the animals, though. We're going to probably take Terry, Mailbaum, and Erica. And I think the Muffaloes will try to sell. Because there's no point in taking Muffaloes into space, I don't think. At least I'm not up for doing it anyway. So we'll have to see. How much chem fuel does it take to knock her out? I don't know. The turrets helped a lot internally during that one raid. Now they're now they're they're blocked. Yeah, we're gonna add them back though, don't worry. Okay, let's get in here and build this last bit here too. Alright, so turrets we want to um, install one here, and then we want to install another one here, and then we wanna go into security and add sandbags. 
the side here. I don't even know if this is going to work. We're setting this one up like this, and this might not even work. But I suppose the best way to test it is to have multiples, because we can't guarantee that we're going to get raided by the west. So we're going to have to set it up and then maybe chop and change it if it sucks. We'll have to see. I'm a sandbag. Thanks. Thanks very much. You can amputate a prisoner's legs, but you can replace them with peg legs and then remove those peg legs. That's a good... Are we talking about torture here? Is that what we're talking about? Amputating people's legs and replacing them with other legs. We have a prosthetic arm. A spare prosthetic arm if anybody needs it. But I'm, I'm pretty sure everybody's fine. We need to make an ear for Bob. Alright. Take note. We need to make an ear for Bob. Uh, we need to make a uh, bionic uh, right leg for Solario. Oh shit, we're having a marriage. Hinge and Gendermancer are getting married. Okay, good. And we're being raided as well from the north. It's tribals. Okay, this is fine. Alright, so let's get Cheesy Weezer with his sniper rifle here. Let's see how he fares. He should have really long range. Let's get Mubinski, let's get Solario, and then let's get Bob here as well. This is just tribals, so we should be okay. Let's see if Cheesy Weezers can really slam dunk these. Are they going around the other way? Oh no, are they going for the... They're... Oh no, okay. Out of Keck and Lutis are having a social fight here as well. Who's going to win this one? Nobody won. Okay, they're setting up. Where are you, Penny Peterwack? Let's get her on the mortar and see if we can launch a shell at them. She's going for it while they prepare. Nice shot, Penny. Nice. A good attempt. Good attempt. Okay, meanwhile, these guys are getting married. Oh, we aced it. Okay, you, you hit a tortoise, Penny. That's pretty good. All right, Penny, you can you can get off there now. It's fine. Liz is just playing some horseshoes here as well. It's nice. Okay, they're coming through. They're backing off a little bit. The traps, they work. Tappy, what are you doing, you dummy? This is a no-go zone right now. Oh my god, the traps are so good. Okay, how's it going, Cheesy Weezers? You got some good shots here? I'm not sure that this is helping much. job, Bob. <laughs> Just careful, we don't want any explosions. Oh, wow. Okay, that was a great shot, actually. That was nice. Alright, excellent. Alright, everybody. I'm surprised that nobody's been killed by any of these traps, actually. Now that we've had a death from, a, from our own trap. It's very unsafe, isn't it? Okay, good some corn here as well that we really do not need okay come and collect the dead that's fine collect their dumb tribal weapons here too we'll melt them down or sell them they saw bobs and they ran away every colonist of the male gender is wincing in pain right now unfortunate bob scissor hands yeah i know he's pretty good at it We had a death from our own trap. Yeah, Christina M. Uh, died in a, in one of our traps. She just got one shot by a trap. So we had to... We had it so that we had traps here and here and here and here all the way through. So we had to change it so the traps are on the sides and we put doors in the middle so they can safely go through and not step on the traps. Real unfortunate. It's real, really unfortunate. But there you go. It's just... Um, it's the way she goes sometimes, you know. Uh, we need some more um, granite. We need to haul in some more granite or dismantle some granite from somewhere. 
Is there any more granite to even haul in? This is all sandstone, I believe. I think we're going to run out of granite. I think this is all sandstone up here. Granite's like this stuff here, right? There's a little bit here. Ah, there's a there's there's a bunch here actually. Let's haul this stuff in. 